In this video, I will be discussing my reasons behind purchasing the new HyperDeck Studio HD Plus. That is right, the new HyperDeck series was just announced and we already have it right here. We will be unboxing this sub beauty and also switching it on for first use. But before I do that, I need to tell you that this is not the sole video that we have in store for you. No, later this week, we'll have a in-depth overview of the whole system. Next to that, there will be a two minute tip coming later with how you can connect your ATEM Mini with a HyperDeck and why you should think about it. Next to that, I will be also having a video on how to control the HyperDeck using Companion or a Scarhoy device. And the last but not least is how you can use Stinger effects or lower thirds with your HyperDeck. That and more coming your way. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that you get notified for future content. And also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you are notified. Let's go, let's start. Okay, so this is the HyperDeck Studio HD Plus box. And the first thing that I've noticed was that it's actually a bigger box than you might expect. So this is by comparison, the HyperDeck Studio Mini box that I also own. And it's a definitely a bigger set. Well, uh, by design, because the old version, the HyperDeck Studio Mini, you can actually have three of them side by side on a 19 inch rack, while on the Studio HD Plus one, you can only have two side by side. So yes, that's by design indefinitely. So again, this is the HyperDeck Studio HD Plus. Um, use cases of be using this HyperDeck is really twofold. The first use case is about my streaming business. I really would like to have the possibility to stream video and also transparent overlays to screens on the sides of a stage during a concert, during a presentation, so that people can look at those screens and also look on the stage if they want to have a little bit more of a close-up. Now, I can also do that with vMix, obviously. However, then I have a very long delay and that doesn't really look great if you are in the audience. So from that user, user experience, I would like to have something that's really fast. And that's where I want to have this HyperDAC and also, of course, my ATEM switcher. So that is the first reason of purchasing this HyperDAC Studio HD Plus. A second reason is you. That, that's right, you. You, the watcher of this video. I would like to provide demos that are meaningful for you. And yes, I can just hook up three cameras and perform a demo on the ATEM, for example. However, if you have other videos that make more sense because they're in sync, then that is better. So that's the reason why I want to put, have a battery of these HyperDex available to me so that I can have a synced playback so that you have a very good experience yourself. So those are the two use cases for me. Please let me know what kind of use case that you are thinking of if you want to purchase a HyperDex so that I know that and I might be there might be a possibility to put that in a future video as well. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the box. So the first thing is, of course, the front of it. It states HyperDeck Studio HD Plus and a nice picture. Now on this picture, we already see a few things. First and foremost, bigger buttons than on the HyperDeck Studio Mini. Also, we have the possibility to have a speaker to, to check out what the audio is on the device itself and of course the possibility to have a headphone jack as well if you if you note down below you see a lot of different icons this one the r3 lot right here might be something that is useful for you now looking on the top of it it states hyperdeck studio hc plus it states hyperdeck studio hc plus it states hyperdeck studio hc plus but here something is changing so this is where you see already some features. So you have a search dial. So there is a jock shuttle that can do a scroll, shuttle and jock. You have the possibility to have a very nice status display with a lot of information and in dark mode, believe it or not, which is great. We already talked about the live audio monitoring and you have the possibility also not only to add SD cards, but also use the external disc recording as well. Next to that, if you look at the, the, the 
other side, so the back side, you see a lot of information. I'm not going through everything because there will be an in-depth look and feel uh, on this HyperDAC later this week, but you can see in general terms that it has a lot of uh, power options. It does not have power over Ethernet, unlike the previous model, the HyperDAC Studio Mini, that did have power over Ethernet. Um, the external drive we already talked about, it does have a monitor out, which is great, so you can have actually more information on a screen uh, beside you. And there are some reference and syncing options right here. And then, of course, we have got the key and fill, which is a highlight. Another highlight, especially if you own an Ether Mini, is that you have both HDMI in and HDMI out at your disposal. So you do not have to invest also on micro converters. They're not that expensive, but if you take that into account in an additional cable, then the price difference between the new uh, Studio HD Mini and uh, this one, there's a $200 difference, then that becomes quite narrow. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to go with the Studio HD Plus. All right, without further ado, let's uh, start to open it up with my knife. There you go. So let's go ahead and check it out. So let's, there you go. And it's always very nice to do an unboxing like this. All right. Nice and glossy, like always. Let's remove that. And let's go ahead and open up the box. So I do that right here. It comes with a Styroform inlay. And let's go ahead and open up that system like so. And there's nothing in this box anymore. So I'll just remove that. And let's hope that this is, I think, the top of it. Let's open that up. And there you go. This is the top. And what you just might have seen that this was falling. So it does come with a welcome guide right here. And uh, some in installation instructions or download instructions, like so. Then we have the software installer uh, information right there. Two stickers, not one, but two stickers, unlike on the ATEM Mini. And the Vinci Resolve 17 free download, if you like that. There you go. And this is the product. I'll just remove it like so. And here you also have some feet. So that's great as well. So let's put that product right here and let's check it out. But before we can check it out, we need to talk power cords. That's right. You didn't see any power cord with the device. That is what Blackmagic just does. They never give these with the product. I happen to have this one already. I typically purchase a few of them just in case. However, uh, be aware that that is something that you need to additionally pay for. Now, again, I understand why Blackmagic does that because a lot of people want to put it into a 19 inch rack or like I do right here, put it on a rack and they just do not know if you want to have two meters, three meters or 50 centimeters of power cord. So. This is something that you need to take into account as well. So I'll just use that to switch it on in a minute. Next to that, I also want to show this Angelbird SD card that I purchased with it as well. 256 gigs, and it's a really a fast one. So I'm gonna use that one uh, with the device as well. So let's get things started. All right, time to switch it on for first use. So it does not have an on off switch. So I just have to put in the power cord and switch it on like so. And in a few seconds, you will see it boot for the first time. I'll just give it a few seconds. It already is uh, showing uh, some lights and there you go. You can set the language. Um, let me see if my language is there. I doubt that. No. So there are a lot of languages at your disposal, but I want to have English. Like there, just hit set. 
And there you go. This is now selected. And of course, I already have my SD card as well. 256 gigs. I'll just put it into the first slot like so. And that concludes that for first use. All right. That's all that we have time for today. Of course, there will be more videos coming this week about the new HyperDAC. I will be making sure that I have some videos to show how it all works. I hope that you like this kind of content. Again, please subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of content. And also, don't forget to hit the bell icon. And I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.